Now, we're going to talk about shielding. What's the first thing that you think of when you think of a shield? Maybe one made of metal, used by Roman warriors. How about a wooden one? Maybe you think about shielding your eyes from the sun. Or shielding your house from bugs getting into the house with a window screen. Maybe you think about using mosquito repellent to shield yourself from nasty bites. Do you think we could use a curtain or maybe mini blinds as a shield from having people see what we're doing inside of our houses? Sure we could. And we can make them very decorative while we're at, while we're at it. How about some uh, of the television shows or movies you've seen of life on board a starship? Don't they use force fields as shields? All right now, let me ask you this. What is a shield used for? I mean, besides some of them looking really super cool, <laughs> what, what would you use one for? What do you need a shield for? I will tell you that most of the time we use shields for protection, especially when we're talking about energy. Protection both in keeping unwanted energy away from us and in keeping other energies inside, contained or controlled inside of us. Hmm, but why do you think you might want to keep energy away from you? Well, since everything is energy, including thoughts and feelings, let's think for a moment, just a moment, about those things. When you're very upset about something, chances are your thoughts about those things are not going to be very pleasant. Chances are you're thinking about what is upsetting you. Maybe you're even thinking about getting punished. And that is probably not a pleasant thought at all. So let me show you something. Let's say that this kind of line is just how most of us feel on a normal day when we're feeling pleasant. Now, that's your energy. Now, let's say that you are happy because you got a good grade in school or you got something that you enjoyed for your birthday. Let's use our imagination to say this line represents your energy. Now, let's say that this line represents your energy when you're unhappy because you got a sweater for your birthday instead of something cool. <laughs> now let's say that this line represents your energy when you're mad. Something really bad happened and you're unhappy. You are upset. You are not happy. I want you to notice something here. No matter if you are happy or unhappy, the louder your emotions are, that means the more you feel them, the stronger you feel them, then the frequency or vibration increases, goes faster, okay? Both times, no matter if you're happy or if you're unhappy. The more strongly or powerfully you feel an emotion, the more powerfully the universe will hear you. It doesn't matter whether they are good feelings or whether they are bad feelings. And that means that you will be putting more energy out there too. The more strongly, the more deeply you feel something, the, the uh, faster your vibration becomes. And the more loudly the universe hears you. So let's imagine that you are feeling mad for a moment. And I'm willing to bet that when you are mad that people around you know that you're mad. Have you ever walked into a room and no one's saying anything but you know that something unhappy just happened here? That's that people are feeling sad or they're feeling mad. Have you ever done that? Walked into a room? Sure some of that is your body language you can tell when someone's standing here like this or someone's standing here like this, right? There's a difference in your body language but sometimes you just know because you can feel the energy of their emotions. 
Some people are very sensitive to the thoughts and feelings that other people are sending out from themselves all around them. And that can make them feel bad. And sometimes when you're sensitive to other people's thoughts and feelings and you go into a place that has lots of people in it, let's say a grocery store, then you might get overwhelmed. That means you might feel too much. You might take on the feelings that other people are really feeling or thinking that aren't your thoughts or your feelings. And what might happen then is that you might start feeling bad, you might get a headache, you might feel sick to your stomach, you might uh, want to run out of the store <laughs> so that you don't have to feel those icky things anymore. That doesn't mean that those people are trying to make you feel bad. Okay? It just means that you may be sensitive to the energies of when there's lots of people around you. Maybe in a parade or maybe in a grocery store. But chances are that people who are in a parade are going to be happier than, those, than a bunch of people together in a grocery store. And so that's where shielding comes in.